Hi guys. Uh, in the previous video, I showed you how to um, build um, charts in, um, in Excel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit your charts. And the first thing is, if I click on that chart, if I click on that chart, you'll see I uh, automatically have the chart tools over here and I have design, layout and format. If I go to design, one thing I could do, let's say I have now um, uh, columns in my chart and I wish to change that to let's say rows. So I just go here, change chart type and I just instead of column, I just pick bars and pick one of the bars I need and I've okay. So now I changed my type even after I created my chart. I don't have to delete the chart and then I create a new one with the desired type. I can change my chart type after I, I, um, I built my chart. Another thing what you can do, you, if you don't want that, that legend, just delete it, just click it and then go to delete and it's gone. Uh, same thing with those lines. If you don't need those lines, just click them and delete. Now, what about the colors? Well, if, if you need to change the colors of all of them, just double click on any one of them columns and you'll see I get a, a sort of a, um, a small dialog box allowing you to do some changes to those columns. I wish to change the color, so I go to fill and I have here the uh, different types of fills uh, and I'm going to just pick solid, which we already have, and then I'm just going to uh, make red. See, and then close. So I got them all in red. Now, if I wish to change only or I wish to have my columns in different colors that's also no problem just let me click out of here let me click inside I click once you see all of them are selected now I click again on, on, the, on the desired uh, row another time now you see only this row is selected and then I double click and now I can change same as before the, the color to a different color let's make that for instance purple okay and now I click here. You always got to pay attention when you click on a column. Are they all selected or, or just this one? Always pay attention to that. So and only this one is selected. All right. Double click it. Go to fill and then pick another color. Let's say yellow and so on. OK, you always got to pay attention. I'm going to try to uh, uh, show you again. Let's click outside. If I click inside, sorry, if I click inside, you see all of them are selected. Now, if I wish to have only one selected, just click on it again once, just once on it again. And you see now only this column, uh, this, sorry, this row is selected. And then double click it. And now I can change the fill, the color of the fill again. Okay. A much faster way to change the fill is just click on that column and then click right. And you can see here, I can change the fill to any color I need. Okay. The, the advantage of double clicking it, you would have the dialog box allowing you, let me just double click it, you'd have the dialog box allowing you to uh, do multiple changes at once. Shadows, border styles, border color, etc. Okay, whereas um, if you click it, right click it, you can just, uh, for instance, change, you can change things much faster, obviously, but you don't have that, that range of options you would have with the dialog box. Okay. Uh, another thing is, what if I want to change the background uh, to a different color? Again, just click right and I can change the background. Let's say to yellow or let's say pick a lighter color, let's say gray. I can, uh, the axes, I can have the axes in different colors. Just double click the axes or right click them. Okay, and I can have the axis. Now in this, in this sense, the axis, we don't want to fill color, but the line color, and I can have them. Oh, sorry, I haven't clicked the axis. I just clicked the border right here. I just need to click that axis. And then, uh, dou uh, sorry, double, cl uh, double click it. And I can change a lot of things on the axis. For instance, the numbering format of the axis, which is not, apl it's not applicable for our axis here. Uh, line color. Let's say solid line and uh, let's make it uh, red and line style. Let's make it a thick line. You can see it's getting thicker. Okay, here. And any, a lot of other things that you can change. Same thing with this one. 
if I double click it, I'm always gonna gonna see what you double click. See, I, I I double clicked on the chart area. I don't want that. I want that axis. So I, you always have to pay attention to what you click. Just click here on that axis. Always read what is here. Format axis. So I'm now right. Okay, number. I wish to have um, just a normal number without decimals. Or let's uh, custom here. Just let me put it this right. Then fill I would have see I've lost my decimals I have a solid fill with let's say uh, let's say dark green and oh sorry I've done the I've, I've just filled the, the colors I need the line color so solid line and let's make it dark green line style let's increase that to three points okay and so on right and as well let's click on the axis again I can select the size rotate of each of those things I um, see I've got a chart area again ah, I'm always gonna click it click on the yeah there we go axis number uh, let me see did I just miss something no that's it okay alignment yeah alignment you can have it middle and you can change a uh, you see and now I changed the alignment of the of the of the of the text in the you can align like this this is very useful alignment if you have if your if your uh, data is uh, rather long then it makes sense to have it rotate 90 degrees so it doesn't take much uh, width okay that's rotation and that's about it what you can do with um, with uh, the kind of uh, as, um, uh, things you can format or edit in your diagram after you create it so basically you can change the type you can change the colors or anything else about each of these uh, things like axes or, or individual columns or rows or whatever just double click them or just right click them same thing we'll right clicking them will not give you the full range of options like when you double click them right and same thing here with the with a title if I wish to change a title just double click it and I can change border solid line let's make it a thick line okay and so on alignment and close see and now it's got a thick border around it so and these are the kind of things you can do with 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 charts or diagrams in Excel charts, uh, where you can edit them uh, after you created them. Some of the steps uh, just shown you here.